Yeah, you know, when you're in there, um, you can feel feel what's going on. You've got to feel for the fight, the way they're swinging the fight, the way it's going. Um, and, you know, it's just just a matter of time. You're just waiting for one, one opportunity to land one big shot. And uh, it's going to be a good night. You know, and we was working on this. What I actually did here at the end, we was working on it all the way through training camp. And um, it was working the right treat. And this was the first time I'd actually done it throughout the fight. Um, and they saw it and they was like, OK, time to get him out now. And that was it. But I do believe if they didn't get him out of there, um, something really bad would have happened to him. Because a fighter can only take a certain amount of punishment and big shots to the head. You know, and if he wouldn't have been knocked unconscious and not getting up, then he, uh, he would have had some severe lasting damage, which we don't want to see. And there you go, you see the, the right and hand. And so at that point... Out, and it's over. And at that point, Tyson, they throw the towel in. You're the champion again. What's the first thoughts in your mind at that moment when you see the fight's over? Um, it wasn't that I'm a champion again because I've never stopped being a champion. I've always been the lineal champion since I beat uh, Klitschko in 2015. But, um, you know, I beat the number one guy in the division. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a great moment for me and a fulfilling moment as well, you know. A moment that uh, concreted the greatest comeback in boxing history. Um, and it was one of those great moments and great sporting moments for the country and for the family and for everybody. It was an absolutely epic moment.